welcome to Sea Talk. Today we are going to have question time with Monster Energy and I'm delighted to be joined by Gemma Nicholas and Amy Burgess from Coca-Cola European Partners. So hello to you both. Hi Kate. Hi. Hi, let me just load up your first question. So 2020, how did energy drinks do, Monster in particular, and how did they remain resilient? Over to you. Thanks, Kate, of course. So 2020 really was a record breaking year for energy. At one in three soft drinks on the go was energy in convenience. And energy was the largest soft drink sector in convenience, which is just huge. The category grew by just under 73 million pounds and Monster delivered two thirds of this. So a really successful year. And you mentioned the word resilience. So the energy ca category was definitely that in 2020. The energy category has really broadened its appeal over the last few years and it now appeals to such a broad range of demographics and audience that we really saw that come through and then if we deep deep a bit deeper into monster performance there's three really contributing factors um, that we can look into as to why the growth um, was so strong in 2020. the first one was that we continue to engage with our loyal fans so we continue to invest in our marketing through our ambassadors, whether that be Monster, Relentless or Rain. We also continue to have a long standing relationship with gaming. Now, as you might know, gaming saw a huge surge in the first lockdown. Just under 200 percent of gaming sales were up. So it was it was massive. And we continued to also support that. So we had an Halo Infinite Q4 on pack which convenience stores executed, whether they were large or small, to really bring that excitement to the stores. If we then look at the second contributing factor, it was a sustained focus on innovation. So you know um, that we had a category vision that we launched in 2017, and we identified taste as a big factor and driving factor of the future. And this has been proven through our monster juice range, which is now worth 92 million pounds and we've continued to innovate um, throughout the year. Now, the third contributing factor is the zero sugar options that we now offer. So we know that consumers are much more aware of their sugar and calorie intake. It is the forefront of their minds. And our Monster Ultra zero sugar range is now with 76 million pounds in GB, and it's up 19%. We have seven flavors in Monster Ultra, and my personal favorite is the new Monster Ultra Fiesta, which is just launched in the market. What flavor is the Fiesta one? It's a mango flavor. It's definitely my mm, favorite. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so do you expect to see further growth in 2021? Yes, absolutely we do. Um, and Monster will also continue to invest to fuel this growth. So we'll do this in a few ways. Um, we'll continue to innovate. So lots of talk about innovation because it's the, the heartland um, of Monster. So we'll con continue to drive that shopper excitement. And you'll have seen the launches that we had with Pipeline Punch and Ultra Paradise um, last year. Um, and this year we're launching um, three new key MPDs. So we've got Monster Mule, part of our core range on screen now, the first ever ginger flavored energy drink in GB. Monster Ultra Fiesta, um, part of our zero sugar range, um, mango flavoured. And then Monster Juice Monarch, which is mixed of peach and nectarine, and it combines real fruit juice to, to get that maximum taste as well. So definitely look forward to seeing those on your shelves soon. We'll also continue to invest in the growth through um, appealing to new segments. So if we look at energy, the rising segment has been performance energy. Um, and it's grown just under 63% in the last six months. And it's really appealed to those uh, people at home really trying to keep fit and active um, through the lockdowns. So we launched Rain Total Body Fuel, uh, which appealed to the 18 to 35 year old that want to maximize results um, without compromising on that taste. Now we launched Rain at the end of 2019. It's now number one in the total performance energy sector and it's four times bigger than that of its nearest competitor. So it's done really, really well. Um, and then finally, we'll also support the growth through affordability. So we know affordability is really key at the moment in the current environment, and it, about a third of people will be impacted in some way and really looking to um, save money where they can. So that's where our price mark packs come into play, which are offering brands at affordable prices for our shoppers. 
Fantastic. I'm just checking to see if I had any images of those. If I don't, I'll probably, I can always drop an image afterwards. Um, so how else are you supporting convenience retailers in 2021 and beyond? Yes, of course. So 2020 has been a very challenging year for convenience retailers and, and we've been really impressed by their resilience and agility and, and providing PPE for um, a range of people, whether it be local or frontline workers. And what that's done is it's helped them gain new shoppers. So what we want to do at CCP in 2021 is really focus on how we retain those shoppers for them. So we're looking to advise on range, merchandising and execution principles. So we've launched a retailer support initiative, Sales Supercharged, and I'll hand over to Amy to talk to you a bit more about this. Thanks, Gemma. So, yeah, so Monster Sales Supercharged is a, a new support initiative for retailers, which um, lives in multiple places, actually. So it's on it's on a website uh, called www.salessupercharged.co.uk. Uh, you'll see some of the creatives coming out in some uh, the trade press uh, now and as we move throughout 2021 and also through wholesaler comms. Um, it's got lots of handy hits, hints and tips from the latest trends, uh, but also what uh, segments within energy are doing particularly well. And, and I think you've got a, an image there, Kate, uh, that showcases some of the segments within the energy category and then some of uh, the brands within um, the Monster portfolio. So you've got Monster there, Relentless and Rain uh, to showcase some of the ones that are doing particularly well. We've also got some tips on ranging. Um, and throughout the, the site, there are uh, some downloadable planograms. So we appreciate that, we can see them here. So we, we appreciate that uh, not all stores are exactly the same size. So we have five different options there, ranging from one shelf to, to five shelves. So retailers can really um, choose the one that's relevant for themselves. Um, there's lots of merchandising advice to help bring a uh, segment to life in store. Um, and there's links on to the CCP trade website where retailers can download point of sale on oh, no, a request point of sale materials for their store but also download digital assets for screens in outlet or on their social media channel and then finally uh, we're giving away free stuff who doesn't like free stuff kate <laughs> and uh, um and on there at the moment we're giving away products um and then hopefully when we get back to a bit of normality there'll be some um tickets from the monster or uh, relentless events that we we do year in year out and uh, hopefully i'll I get an invite to that as well <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a link for that free stuff we were talking about, um, if you head to Sea Talk's website, uh, we do have one of the Monster Supercharge Sales Supercharge banners at the top of the website. So feel free to click on that, or when you're logging in in the member section, you can click on that, and it will take you straight through to your website. So why now for the launch of Sales Supercharged? Well, if we look back to the early 90s, um, when energy drinks first became available in GB, there really were only a, a number, a couple of products. But uh, the segment really has diversified over the last few decades. And there are different flavours, um, zero sugar options, juice blends, um, and also um, different nutritional profiles for different occasions. Um, and much of this excitement and growth has come from Monster. And as Gemma mentioned earlier on, um, energy drinks are the number one soft drink segment within convenience stores. So it really is uh, the time now for to, for retailers to try and maximise those sales. And Monster, uh, having fueled a lot of this growth, uh, is very much in the position to help retailers do that. Hence uh, the arrival of sales supercharged in 2021. Ah, so any last top tips for retailers to drive their energy drink sales? I think I'd just say take a few minutes of time out of your diary and, and head over to the Sales Supercharged website or flick through to a creative in the trade press and glean some nuggets that might enhance your sales in store or, or have a conversation with a CCP rep to, uh, to help decide what you want to change in store. Um, and maybe even trial our new MPD. So as Gemma mentioned, we've got uh, Monster Mule, um, Ultra Fiesta and Juice um, Monarch, uh, the three new variants. And we are giving Sea Talk subscribers the chance to um, win a case, uh, well five actually, the chance to win a, a case of each of those variants. All you have to do is below this video, write down um, your fastest or your biggest selling monster variant and you'll be entered into a prize drawer to win a case of each of those um t's and c's are available upon request so um get posting now and we will look to get some product out in the coming months
Great. So whether you're watching this on on Facebook or LinkedIn or YouTube, wherever you're watching this video from, or someone shared it on a WhatsApp group, just make sure you drop you drop that. So it's it's your best selling monster variant, is it? Underneath. Yeah, the yeah. Top. Just just, and we'll, we'll try and get it out in the coming month uh, or so, um, as and when we do the prize draw. But uh, yeah, any feedback on the variants uh, would be great as well. The new variants. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. And I look forward to, to the next round of, of questions for you guys. So uh, good luck with everything in the coming months and uh, catch up with you soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, See you Kate. later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.